Hey guys, welcome to me reacting to My Girlfriend is Kinda Odd by The Odd Ones Out. Now, I have not seen this, but uh, this is another storytime animation uh, from The Odd Ones Out, you know, as always, of course, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I mean, hey, look at me, I'm doing, uh, I'm reacting to The Odd Ones Out, uh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, I don't really know uh, what this video is about, other than, I guess, he's gonna talk about his girlfriend and, you know, make fun or just you know make some jokes i guess but yeah anyways guys reaching to the description make sure to the odd ones i think so in the description let's just get right into it you know how when people get into a new relationship they go through a honeymoon phase well me and my girlfriend went through a is the person i'm dating a deranged murderer phase when she first came over to my house oh, she thought okay. my nintendo figure collection was something only a psychopath would have and she's right when you've been living alone <laughs> for so long Sometimes you just need to buy friends and put them on display and sometimes oh, there's some references there I noticed lampshades or chairs <laughs> Luckily, I just oh god figures gif doesn't actually think I'm a psychopath anymore Which is good, you know because I don't anymore. want anyone to know the truth However early on in our relationship there were some things I did that she didn't like like one time I was unloading the dishwasher and I was putting away the knives and gif looked at me all concerned and I asked What's the matter, huh? Huh? I don't know what made her run to the other side of the room like that when I could clearly just throw the knife at her. <laughs> yeah, she's kind of stupid. But she definitely got what? her point across that she didn't like me holding multiple knives and told me to cut it out. But I didn't know if she was a psychopath either, though, because there are definitely some things about her that made me question her sanity. Like how she owns a $2,000 animal mascot costume, but she hates sports. That's weird. <laughs> like, when I was over okay. I was looking through her freezer, assuming she had bagel bites, and I asked, Hey, babe, uh, where's all the bagel bites? And there was this plastic grocery bag in there, and she tells me, No, 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 don't look in there. Uh, we don't have any bagel bites. You ate them all, remember? But in my mind, all I'm thinking is, Hold on. What the frick does this chick Inside have? out? <laughs> what? Okay. It's not a place where you tell someone, don't look in there. So inside out reference? Yeah. And toilets. The... That's it. I don't know what we did for the next 10 minutes, because all I was thinking about was how many severed hands were in Gif's freezer. Thanos, yeah, thought, okay. Okay, maybe I'm overreacting. I optimistically asked, Hey, um, babe, are you, um, perhaps keeping a surprise for me in the freezer? Like a birthday cake? My birthday's not for another five months, but that's the only thing I could think a person would hide in a freezer that wouldn't make them a psychopath. And she said, nope. <laughs> so what's in there? Don't worry about it. Do you not see how this looks? If the doors weren't locked, I would have been out of there. I wasn't about Is to- Is that the puffer fist, this, right? So I held up the knife I had from the previous joke and said, what's in the freezer? And she went, it's a dead snake. You had a dead snake next to the bagel bites? So fun fact about my gif, she owns eight snakes. Mm-hmm. Apparently, she used to own nine. I've learned that snakes are a very low-maintenance pet. You only oh. feed them once every three years. Okay. If you cut them in half, they turn into two snakes. Yeah, so I have... That's not true. One That's a worm. Died. And another fun fact, snakes lack the part of the brain that feels love. They're physically yeah, I know capable that. of showing affection. So yeah, that's because it's a reptile. Your soul to snake Satan for one dead mouse. So she already has eight... Because reptiles don't, her, don't feel emotion. They lack that part, part of the brain. That freezer snake. At least my reptiles aren't dead in a freezer. I immediately start asking questions. Why do you have a dead snake in your freezer? How many other dead animals are in your freezer? What the heck's wrong with you? And she said, I wanted to get him taxidermied, but the person I wanted to have do it was busy. Also, there's dead rats in there for my snakes. Oh, that explains why the bagel bites tasted so funny. What's extremely okay. gross is that the snake is still in there to this day. I don't know how long. Oh, is that a? Uh, before, but it's been. Ha well what's that called again? That series that again it's with a clock? Great though, because now she can. Is it Happy Tree for no? My refrigerator. I'll have potatoes that are sprouting more potatoes, grapes that are getting me tipsy, and if she. Hey, out, nice. Uh, out, respond with Omega Mart, Mart there with the lemon with the eye. Is disgusting. Yeah, Medusa. Uh huh. One time she said, "Ah, my fridge smells terrible, and I don't know why." Really? You can't think of a single reason. She said, no, I said the fridge smells bad, not the freezer. I said, I will flush your snake down the toilet and give you a swirly. Now that's the sign of true love, kids. 
But for all I know, she could totally still have severed hands in there. <laughs> After dealing with the snakesicle situation, there's some other things I've learned from being in a relationship. Snakesicle? Apparently, there are rules and etiquettes when eating food. And my girlfriend sure does love and enforce those rules. I was taught, don't put your elbows on the table, close your mouth when you're chewing unless you want to talk to someone, and make sure you eat something green every once in a while. But according to her, well, there's more than that. Like, did you know that bagel bites aren't a part of a balanced diet? <laughs> we were at a restaurant one time, pre true. and when we got our food, Gif took a napkin and put it on our lap and told me to do that as well because you're supposed to do that in a society. I looked around the restaurant and said, but no one else has a napkin on their laps. And she said, that's because you wanted to eat at a Denny's. I didn't know why she was such a stickler for table manners until I went to her family's place for Thanksgiving and I stepped inside and saw two sets of staircases in their house and it all made sense. Oh, they're fancy and collect staircases. Was that Garfield? My girlfriend's home for Thanksgiving was the first time I met a partner's I love these images though. Really, really no internet, there's the Adobe. I'm kissing their first yeah. child. I'm Media in the house off dad's watching sports. I love sports. I lied. Mom's working on a puzzle. I love puzzles. They used to call me the puzzle king in high school. Her brother's playing Mario Odyssey. I so love Mario. Oh, wait, I don't have to impress you. You stuck at this game. In an effort to get them to like me more, I brought a gift for Gift's family. I got them a little baby cactus because it's small and prickly and doesn't like to be touched. <laughs> Just like her. <laughs> Ooh, ow, babe. No, no, babe. It was a joke. It was a joke, babe. I'm fine. Gift's Thanksgiving meal was the polar opposite of my family's Thanksgiving. My family does Thanksgiving with two other families, and they all come together with mashed potatoes, and everyone gets in a line with paper plates, and we all have one big mashed potato. Oh, popcorn. yeah. And then I sit at the kids' table to avoid talking about politics. Gift's family used real plates and had candles, and everyone puts a napkin on their lap. I felt like Shrek at Fiona's castle. <laughs> they had three forks of various Oh sizes, god. I still wanted them to like Nice them, reference so I was there. I about to point out that it made no sense to use three different forks to eat a meal. This must be why Gif is so afraid of knives. All these cutlery options are bringing up childhood traumas of going up all the stairs. The Gif's family was so fancy that I actually didn't even meet them on Thanksgiving. My memory just filled in that we were having a Thanksgiving meal. Gif read this script and was like, "You know you didn't meet them on Thanksgiving, right?" That was just a regular Tuesday brunch. That wasn't even a meal to be thankful for? Why do we talk about politics so much? One of the big political <laughs> debates we have is that Gif tells me I wear dad socks. But I don't think she understands my genius. You see, if I buy and wear the same pair of socks for the rest of my life, I'll never have to worry about matching socks ever again. Oh, there's a ton so of I'm references the there. Socks that I'm going to be wearing at my funeral. And as we were wrapping up our non-thankful meal, I got up from the table and Gif's dad said, Hey, I have those socks. So I guess she's right about some things. And her dad totally likes me now. In the end, <laughs> as long as I make Gif happy, then I know her parents will like me, no matter what socks I wear. And as long no as matter what socks I wear. makes you a happier person, then they're a good partner too. Even if they refuse to throw okay. away the dead snake they've had in their freezer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Actually an enjoyable video. I actually enjoyed that. It was chill and calming, and yeah, I actually thought the jokes were funny. The way the animation added to the comedy and bits was, yeah, it was good. I like how it added to the comedy. And it was actually funny. I thought it was funny. I thought this was very relaxing and nice. It's just a good video overall. I enjoyed it. But yeah, anyways, guys, if you enjoyed it, like, and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next one. Bye!